Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate one of the useful tools for software testers, that is Microsoft Editor, which can be used for identifying spelling and grammatical mistakes. So let's get started. As part of software testing, we don't just test whether the given application functionality is working fine or not, but also we'll check the text that is there on the web pages is having proper spelling and grammar things. Okay, if there are any spelling mistakes or grammatical mistakes in the text that is provided on the okay on the web pages, that need to be identified and that need to be reported as defects to the developers and developers have to still fix them. Okay, it's not just about the UI or functionality of the application, but also we have to take care of uh, the text that is displayed on the web pages like uh, spelling mistakes and grammatical mistakes also that testers have to find. But testers have to read each and everything to find it. So what is the best way which can save the time where the tools will identify the problems and all. Okay, for that we'll do one thing. I'll just uh, copy this sample text case, whatever the text that is there, I'll just copy that. Okay, and uh, so here, I'll install this Microsoft editor. I copied this text guys to see if there are any spelling or grammatical mistakes. Now I'll ins install this uh, Microsoft editor Chrome extension. So just type Microsoft editor. Just Google search for this Microsoft editor. You will get this, uh, don't worry about this uh, first one. Go with the Chrome store, okay, directly. Chrome.google.com, Microsoft editor spelling, okay? Spelling and gram grammar checker. This is a, one of the useful tools you can say that uh, will help the software testers in finding the spelling and grammatical mistake. Once you click on that, you'll be taken to this page, guys, Microsoft Editor Spelling and Grammar Checker. And now, since it is not added yet to this uh, Chrome browser as an extension, Add to Chrome button is coming. Just click on the Add to Chrome. Now, Add Extension. In a while, uh, this Microsoft Editor will be added to this uh, browser, okay? So, let's wait. You see, it's getting added. You'll get a pop-up here. The kind of pop-up you will get after it is added, checking, you see, we got a pop-up, done. So it's asking you to sign in, okay? It's asking you to sign in, guys, trying to sign in. So what you can do is already have created an account, guys, okay? If you don't have an account with Microsoft, create one and try to sign in, guys. Since I already have created, I don't want to waste time. I just sign in using this account, okay? Okay, you are intelligent uh, writing assistant, okay? You can see the documentation here, how to do and all those stuff. So what I'll try to do here is I'll close all this stuff and uh, click on this uh, extensions and pin it so that you can directly access this Microsoft editor here. Now close this browser and restart the browser once. Just restart the browser once guys, okay? So that it will be good. Now here, go to one application and uh, paste the text that I copied, okay? It will take a while guys. Uh, sometimes it will take a while. Just click on this and uh, click, you see, uh, it took some time. Once I clicked on this Microsoft editor, you see it took some time and you see yeah, grammar correction is there. You see it has identified a grammar correction. What if, uh, what is the grammar correction? It's asking you to put a comma here, okay? It should be a comma here. Now the error is gone, okay? By creating an account, comma is expected. What if there is some other, uh, like this, okay? I'll copy this part again. Copy this part. and refresh this page once and paste it here to see and click on this. You see here comma is there, it's no more identifying the uh, grammatical mistake because comma is already there, but here there is spelling mistake, okay? Spelling correction it is giving, spelling correction. Uh, just click on this, it's saying F-A-S-T-E-R, okay? It's asking you to change to F-A-S-T-E-R, okay? Now, now this is fine. Once you change it and all, Refresh this page and then paste it. Now this time, just click on this and you will not get any errors here, okay? You will not get any errors, guys, okay? Sure. So if you want to disable this for any websites, you can disable still, okay? For now, you're not getting any errors because uh, everything is fine. So this is how, guys, we have to use this uh, Microsoft uh, Editor uh, extension, okay? Or add-on. By installing this extension or add-on in the browser, you will be able to check for the spelling and grammatical mistakes, okay? So hope guys, you understood how to use this uh, Microsoft editor extension for identifying the spelling and grammatical mistakes. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.